So, we're going to up here. We got 22 diamond. It was an hour and a half, plus a decent amount of iron. Decent being 72, 79, and a little chunk of gold, some lapis, and some redstone. We have all this cobblestone now, and I need to clear up some inventory space. And, as you can see, we are only at 8 levels. We have that much resources. Well, it's the same reason why my health is so low. Uh, right at the end, right before I ended the channel, we got yeeted by a creeper. It snuck up right behind me while I was checking the blast furnace. And, yeah, we just had an unfortunate go there. So, I really want to up my XP levels because I was getting ready to do some enchantments. We're going to need two things for that. We're going to need to get some books, which means leather, and then we're also going to need XP. Right now, we don't have anything for XP. I mean, we got eight, which we could do some very basic level enchantments, but I, I really don't see the point in trying to do that with such a little amount. We're into the water. We're going to build our own XP farm. It's a fairly basic spell, but quite unbreakable. A little marble reference. That one, that's a fan. I suppose like we should probably build a little bridge out to it. A little extension of our dock, perhaps. I am not a fast clicking person. Because I do stuff like that. That was actually the first time I ever did a successful bridge like that. I'm a, I'm a little proud of myself. Normally it's just a very painful couple seconds of me trying to get there. But I, actually, before we start, I need to get some food. Because, well, let's, let's check the wheat farm, see what we got going on there. I would like to save the wheat. Alright. It's working. I did get it fixed, guys, so if you saw the last episode where I made the farm, I had an issue where I couldn't place seeds in some of the blocks for some reason. Uh, turns out that if the light level is not high enough, you can't plant seeds and they won't grow. So I just had to place... I think I just placed that torch and erase the light level enough where I was good to go. So we'll just collect up this wheat here, make some bread. A lot of times, bread ends up being my main source of food when I play, just because I like to save uh, my animal farms resources. Uh, that way I can build stuff like books and beds and all that good stuff. Because we do have enough obsidian to go to the nether uh, this game. We might do that this episode, or we'll do that later today. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see how this goes. I don't want to pack too many different things into a single episode, just because then when you got too much going on you lose focus and you start uh, half budding things. Alright, there we go. Let's make some bread real quick. And I do not like that I can hear skeletons. It makes me think there's cave structures nearby. Which I mean, yeah, caves are caves are caves. It's part of Minecraft. I or just much rather not have to deal with those. Okay. I'll put up these seeds and that wheat. I'm, I'm gonna expand on that farm later on. Just that. And let us eat. Actually, I'm gonna need to make myself another bucket real quick for this farm. So I sat down and started to try and do the math about how much resources I'm going to need for this mob spawner. I've made it a couple times before. Only one of the times was truly successful. Mostly successful. It does have its issues here and there. And oh goodness, I keep forgetting things I'm going to need. Going to need stack slabs. Well, not a stack, I just need six slabs. Gonna need four hoppers. 
which means chests, and, you know, I can worry about that later. I'll worry about that later. We're gonna eat all of our bread right here, probably. Just trying to get my health up, and hopefully... Oh, hello, fishy. It, it's a slow start to the morning. It's still pretty early. I'm still waking up. Alright. We're gonna need a little door. Well, not an actual door, but... Just an entrance point. Okay. So what's gonna end up happening is... Poppers are going to go here, 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 with a double chest here leading up to it. And we need to make sure we count how high up we are going. I usually carry more resources than I need when I build these, just so if I need to I can tower down or tower up. Let's grab those slabs now, might as well knock that out of the way. So, hoppers which means slabs are going to go here, on this level. There we go. Oh. Let's just go ahead and hop up here. Alright, cool, yeah. That begins. Nice thing is, there's water all around me, so the likelihood of me dying by falling is much lower than normal. Alright, so, this is, we'll call that one, so we're on the second layer here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. This is how high we have to go. I feel like there should be an achievement for falling far enough in living. Mojang, get on that. What are you waiting for? Uh, if you watched my videos from my realm that I'm in, you saw my operational XP farm there. It really was not the best. It, I mean, it existed, <laughs> but it was pretty ugly. I just used nothing but resources I had laying around at the time, because I just really needed XP to try and get enchantments. But I kept falling off of it while I was building it to the point where it almost... I think I lost XP from it in the end. But since this time around, we have water surrounding us, should be fine. Hopefully. Here's hoping. Luckily, since we're all the way out here, it, maybe we won't have to deal with mobs attacking us in the middle of the night. If mobs do start coming at us, we might go ahead and make our diamond armor. Because... I definitely have enough diamonds for it now. Diamond armor is one of the few times I'll use diamonds right off the bat without worrying about getting enchantments first. Just because it, it just is so helpful. Here we got two new followers. Thank you guys, U7 Thomas and Smallest Sophie. Great to have you on the channel with me. Oh. Okay, thanks. I talked about falling off too much. We're gonna, we're gonna grab our stuff first before we sleep. Ah, uh, that, this is how it normally goes for me. A lot of falling and dying. I am not a professional. And hopefully we recover everything. I 
That's the worst part about falling from a high place, is just how scattered your stuff gets. Oh, that was a cool sound effect. How did my boots get all the way over there? Let's grab my torches. And let's hope I don't start getting attacked by drowned while I'm out here. That's my one thing I'm worrying about with building this in an ocean. Because for this to work, you need to light an area up or just build it somewhere where there's not going to be any mobs generating. Alright, I think that is everything. Let's take a peek underwater, see what's crack the in town here. Alright. Oh, no, there's more stuff over there. Great. Uh, not a great start to the day. But you know what? If you want to nom it, you gotta fall off some roofs, right? Yeah, I would like my helmet, that is for sure. Probably gonna need to make more torches in here. I think I saw my helmet in there. Did I get my diamond pickaxe? Okay, I got my diamond pickaxe, I got my helmet, and I got my diamond sword. And I got two bucks of water. That's all I really want to make sure I have. Obviously, I want everything, but those are the big important ones. Why am I carrying around the coal I'm sitting I'm gonna go put that up real quick, make some torches, and sleep the night away. I guess I need some coal. And that'll do it. Oh, that's right. I ran out of wood. That's the last time before I stand. I don't even have wood to have You have a farm, you've got diamond tools. To be punching trees. Oh, good spider. Where did that? Not today, Mr. Skelly. Probably heard another Skelly out here somewhere. Well, let's go ahead and get some of this birch. So embarrassing. But hey, we got an arrow. I think I might. No, it's not a first arrow of the game. That would be also somewhat embarrassing. Okay, there we go. Now let's turn the rest of this into torches. Bada bing, bada boom. Floating trees are not authorized. On the plus side, we're back up to full health. Almost. We're missing half part. So that's what bread is for, isn't it now? These things always seem taller when you're building them. Then when you get down and you look at it, you're just like, wow, that, it's not as big as I thought. Is my mic on? Okay. I always get worried that I start streaming without my mic on. Mojang, why do you keep doing this? I promise, I promise that I did not leave a floating tree. I don't know why, but I feel like that's the worst crime you can commit in Minecraft. Other than hacking speedruns. See, look at this, they spawn trees over the water. I don't know, could have been a creeper attack that did that, but... I know I had a couple creepers blow up out here trying to get to me. And while we're here, we might as well go ahead and... Get our sugar cane started because we are getting ready to try and do enchantments. Whenever I have all the resources I need, and one of those key resources is paper. Alright, 
got our wood. We got our torches. And we have our cobblestone. Let's do this. We're, oh, I don't want to leave my boat over here. No, let's just get building. Let's just get building. Don't need the water buckets just yet. Oh, we did forget something. Trap doors. I'm gonna need. Oh, and I've got the math written down. I'm terrible at remembering numbers. I'm gonna need six. I'm gonna need a solid stack of trap doors. And we might have the wood for that. I really hope we do. No, so we're gonna have to come back and get more wood later on. But let's just let's just finish building it first. Or no, we're gonna grab it now, just so we don't have to keep going up and down. We're close. I hate how expensive trapdoors are. Like I feel like slabs should be should take the six wood, and then trapdoors should only take three wood. Just because there's definitely more material visible in a slab of wood than is in a trap door, so it just makes sense to me. But you know, that's Mojang's thing. They can do then. there. So we're going to need eight more. There we go. And we got extra wood. Outstanding. I was really hoping this farm actually works. So the issue is if you put it in a place where mobs are spawning around it too much, it's going to lower the spawn rate for it. So the best practice is to just light it up light up the area. I was about to build something I realized I would need, but now I can't remember what it is. So I'm just going to grab this and bring it with me in case I remember once I get up there. Yeah, there's definitely a cave in there that I'm probably going to have to deal with later on. But that's a problem for another day. Gonna, we're not going to die again by jumping off of here. I will probably lose it if I do. Oh, it's going to make the chest and the hoppers I need. Oh, that's neither here nor there, though. Alright, so we're going to have to go eight out from here, right? Eight blocks total. It would help if I counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what's going to happen here is we're going to have pathways like this going out from all of these. And it's eight blocks long because at the very end of it, we're going to put water. And it's going to flow this way. And water has a flow distance of seven blocks away from its original origin.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Recount, just make sure. Okay. Awesome sauce. Now this is going to have to come out. It would help if I didn't do that. Yep, and that's why I like being around the water. Keeps me from doing silly stuff like that. Alright, we're gonna see if we can MLG bucket this. Take the torches out of our offhand. This isn't quite a full on MLG bucket, but. Not as easy as it looks. Well, it probably is, and I'm just ruining it. Oh yeah, professional Minecrafter here. Oh, come on! No, I fell faster than that water district. We're gonna make some ladders and. Do it old school the way I normally do. Do I have enough wood to make the ladder so? Alright. 24. Is that enough? Nine ladders? That's all I got for that? Alright. I don't want to use this much wood for just ladders. But. Let's take a nap real quick. Alright, next time we fall off, we're going to make the ladder going down. Oh, I thought I was about to have to do that right then there. Okay. I am getting kind of sick of falling everywhere. But you know what? It's my own fault. Can't be mad at anyone but me. <laughs> I told you last time I lost more XP than I gained from this thing. Hopefully this time around though. Since we start off with a pretty low amount of XP anyways, I won't be going into the negatives. Well, not like that's even possible. Pretty sure you can't have a negative amount of XP. I would have serious words with the people on Mojang if they did that. 
because I would just be completely ruined. Actually, we're going to be smart here and just build us a floor. Aha. Can't make me fall off now, Mojang. I mean, probably can't. You're Mojang, you rule all. Oh, I thought that was gonna be it. I thought that was gonna be it again. Okay, we have to build this up one more layer. Not what I meant to do. Alright, now we build our platforms for the mobs to spawn in. Just in the walls and roof is what takes the most couple so I'm in the towering up. Alright, first platform complete. Only three more to go. Or we're gonna have to do some more farming with our cows in this episode because we're gonna need more leather. We're gonna have to make a hefty amount of books. I mean, luckily, we're in an area that has a lot of cows roaming free. So I'm gonna make a uh, room in the cave just for cows. Probably block it off with two iron doors powered by buttons rather than pressure plates so they can't get out. And then we're gonna start breeding them with all the, with all the massive amounts of wheat we don't have. That is hopefully growing right now. I'm so used to having a surplus of wheat. Because when I first started playing Minecraft, the main thing I was good at was just building farms. And I would always end up getting farms that were producing way more than I would ever use. I think in my Minecraft realm, um, I ended up with over a thousand wheat that I wasn't even using. Like I was just sitting in my storeroom. platform and then we get to build the walls
All right, before I build the walls, I actually just want to make sure I got this the right distance. If I didn't, I'm going to be very upset. So it should flow. Yep. Perfect. That's where we want it. So now when mobs spawn on here, they'll accidentally walk into the water eventually. Then this will carry them into the hole. These four blocks are going to get taken out later. I just have them there to make sure. Well, not to make and not falling to another embarrassing death. Alright. So you can make these walls at different heights. Some people do them too high and then put the roof on. Wait. Are you kidding me? Ah. Uh, I... I'll put the wagon before the horse. Or horse before the wagon. You, you guys know what I mean. Beans. Like I said before, I don't- I'm not a fast clicker. Either my mind goes faster than my fingers, or my fingers go faster than my mind. One way or another, I usually end up messing up. What was I was saying about the wall height. So you can make this room either two or three high, doesn't matter. The only thing that's going to change, depending on the height, is whether or not endermen spawn here. So if you're building this in the hopes to get some ender eyes also, you're going to have to make the room three high in total. But that's the only thing that you're going to have to change, depending on what you want to have as an outcome. Everything else will stay the same. And I would like Enderman, so I'm going to use the extra resources here and make it three high. There's our wall. This could be the room. So I'm going to go ahead and make my infinite water source. Go in the water and place the trap doors down. Just because it's getting dark and I'm going to build the roof from above. That way I have a quick escape. Make sure you put it on the bottom. Trap goes down here. So I'm gonna leave my trap doors open for now, just so I don't accidentally fall into there and have to build my way out. I've... After you do that a couple times, it just gets old real fast. A little bit embarrassing. Kind of like joking about falling off from uh, from on top of these while you're live streaming, then you fall like five times. That totally didn't happen. Then you all saw anything. Alright, and last one. And yep, so it does take a full stack of trapdoors. Probably the first piece of math I've done on Minecraft that wasn't somewhat wrong. Oh. Beans. What am I doing? I have an axe. Let's not be savages here, right?
gonna break this open. Alright, if I did my math right, mobs will be falling 21 blocks. And that is a specific number for the sole reason that at a 21 block fall, it will damage the mobs just enough that one hit from a diamond sword should kill them. Should. Mathematically speaking, that's what is supposed to happen. Oh, wait. Okay, yep, we did wait. Alright. I did break down equations for all this to figure out just how much resources we're using. And to pause once I've finished this, we'll set up in the chat so you guys can see if you want to know just how much stuff you need to do it. I'm trying to conserve resources a little bit here, which is why I'm leaving that blank area there. Although if it's not spawning as much as I want, I might fill it in, just on the off chance that light is coming in a little bit. So if you're like me and never figure out how people do this way to bridge, just by holding down shift. See when I took shift off, or stop crouching, I just fell. But if you're crouching and you back up, you won't fall over the edge. You just find the sweet spot of where it's going to hit the next block first. And hold down right click. Alright. Now that I've got a platform to work off, I'm just gonna do it like this. It's gonna be faster. Probably should have refilled those with water while I had it, but eh. Live and learn, right? Do oh. We might have enough to finish it. I'm really hoping we do. That's gonna be really awkward. And so this is just talking about doing the math. I don't know, I just grabbed a ton of cobblestone and decided to go for it. I've got a little over two stacks, so I think we should be good. If not, I don't know. Drag me, drag my name through the dirt later. I either usually get the math completely right, and then just don't grab what I need, or I get the math completely wrong, grab what I said I need, and then it turns out to not be enough. Well, that's just the way it goes, ain't it? Alright, so I've been talking, I just realized I had my mic off that whole time. It was probably good. I, I don't always say smart things. So I spared you guys my annoying voice for a little while. Alright, well, I'm just going to do some quick math here, figure out if I need to go grab more stuff or not. One. Alright, 16 times 7. Oh, so I need 112 blocks, so I definitely do not have enough. I know I built a ladder over here somewhere. God damn, what was that? There it is. Alright, we got some more ladder here, so. I hope I actually selected one. There. Look at this, we're not just... Is that the sound that ladders normally make? Goodness, that is obnoxious. So if you're new to my channel and you haven't watched me before, I do normally. Um, I've said it many times before, but a lot of times when I'm playing on my own before I started streaming, I would just leave my sound off. 
you know, watch some YouTube on my phone, just have it propped up against my laptop. So now that I'm streaming, I actually have it. I've got my headset on that I normally use for my Xbox. I can actually hear everything. It's amazing. I'm trying to figure out what all these different sounds actually are. I've built this. I'm thinking I might have gone a little too close to the mountain here, especially because I'm I'm fairly certain there were some caves in there where mobs are spawning. So that's going to adversely affect our spawn rate in here. But this two shell buff. Because theoretically, since it's nighttime, I would expect to see some mobs spawning there, but maybe moonlight is affecting the light level a little bit. Only two misplaced blocks. That is not bad for me. Alright. So the only thing left to do is we want to make sure we light up the top. Because if we leave it dark, the mobs will end up spawning on top of it at night, lowering our spawn rate. Which is not good. We want all the mobs we can get. I prefer to go for more torches than I think I need. Because the light won't bleed into the inside of it. I've had so many times where I think I've lit an area up enough, and the next thing I know, I'm getting blown up by a creeper from behind. Oh, look at that cave. I never noticed that. I'm going to go playing. Put these here, just so that way I know where my ladder is. And this is just faster. Fire's gonna be for getting up, not for getting down. Alright. Oh goodness. I yeah, I completely forgot that this was like this. So let's fix this real quick. There we go. Then I'll remove all of this. So now we're gonna use a double chest and four hoppers. Alright, so we're gonna need to make six. Uh, what what you call it first? And okay, we're gonna need more wood. So mobs should start spawning, and you'll be able to see their feet there. The reason why you do it like that is because you can see them and you can hit them, but they can't see you, so you don't have to worry about getting attacked or anything. Wow, that group. Oh, that's only two tall. Okay, I thought we had already gone three high on the sugar cane. I've been a very happy lad. So normally I don't build anything out of birch, just because I don't particularly like the color. I'm a fan of darker woods, but since we're building stuff like chests, where the color doesn't change my own wood, I'll go ahead and grab this for Close. I feel like they used almost the same sound effect for creepers and cutting leaves. Not very cash money, Mojang. It almost gave me an anxiety attack. I gotta stop pooping on Mojang. They're gonna come for me eventually. Eventually, I'm probably gonna have to start replanting some of these trees, but. You now, someday I'll probably come out here, grab a bunch of saplings, and make. I keep seeing that. Because it's sideways facing like that and thinking it's a bee's nest. I get super excited. I'm just gonna grab more wood than we'll actually need. So that way I don't have to keep coming out here every time I need wood. I 
because we're also going to end up needing some for bookshelves later on. Okay, I think that should be good. Let's go ahead and plant those saplings. Nice and easy mob spawner. And there's only one or two blocks that I put there that didn't need to be there. Because I misplaced my cursor. Alright. Oh, see what I'm talking about? These dudes have no respect at all. No respect. How? Get, get out of my house. I'm oh, sorry, Puppy, did I hit you? Good pull. Alright, so we need six. Perfect. Alright, then we're gonna need iron. A decent amount. I and fill that. So now we got the hop to the desk. Let's get further things on all that. Hopefully. Don't know why it wouldn't. That's the way it goes. I'll get that out of here. So, good. All right, we got that going now. We got our mouse. Right. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some XP from it somewhat soon. Next up is. For that, we're going to need first go ahead and make ourselves some more pickaxes so we can mine out a new farming area. So I'm probably just going to dig. Um, I can't advance that way because that's the beach. I might be able to dig this way. I'm going to need to dig eight blocks this way, or nine. Nope, 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 nope. Not an option. Not an option. And, oh, look what I did. Instant harvest, I guess. It happens to the best of us. No, it, it really doesn't. Well, it might. I don't know. I'm definitely not counted among one of the best of Minecraft builders. But, you know, like I said, you know, gonna, gotta break a few eggs. Sometimes some wheat. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and harvest what we have here that's ready for harvesting. That's everything. So, yeah, I guess we're gonna just dig down another layer. <sighs> Didn't want to have to do that. But, alright, let's. And we already have the seeds at least to make the new layer. So, this one. How high did I make the walls? One, two, three, four. High. We're gonna need to leave one space, otherwise, we're gonna hit that water. So there's well, let's grab some ladders first. I've got some, but 
We're gonna need some more ladders. So there's going to be the roof. One, two, three, four. Then we need to go down one extra. So we got to count for where the dirt is going to go. I don't have any torches. This was a bad idea. Why oh, would you stop that, you mobs? I guess I need to light up this area a bit more. I don't know how he got in here. I mean, this area is pretty well lit up. It's plain old disrespectful. Alright, that should be more than enough torches. Now let's get to work. Can I place the torch there with the ladder? Nope. Alright, so there's this one, then our farm is going to start here, so we got to go forward this way. Actually, you know what? You might... This one's not going to be a wheat farm. This is going to be for the cows. It's going to be a big old pain in the butt getting them down here, but it'll work. We'll just make it three high. They don't need anything super fancy. I'll save some durability on my pickaxes. But we'll still make it the same size as farm up there. So it's one, two, three. Oh, that was a little bit too far, but let's grab this coal before I forget about it. And hope we don't run into water. It's like my worst fear is just flooding this whole area by accident. But if you live and you learn, right? Not worth it. Nope. Not dealing with that. Why is there a cobblestone down here already? Oh, I probably had found some resources when I was taking out the farm and went down a little bit more than I need to. Now I could have dug upwards to do this, but I really didn't want to bother Trying to get cows to go up a ladder. It's going to be a lot easier to trick them into coming down. You know, we're going to put some dirt down here for them, so that way they got some grass to feed on. Make it a little more homey for them. But since I do want them to still have a three high area, I think we have to take the roof out one more block, which we can afford to do. So I originally planned on making this farm that was five high, or four high? Four high, yeah.
that I have to check my phone real quick. Yeah, I'm probably getting some more modifications to this, probably change up the walls a little bit, because I don't want this to just be nothing but barren stone everywhere. I think we can make it a little interesting, maybe put in some wood planks, decorate it with some trapdoors, make it look kind of like there's windows. Actually, yeah. We dig out to where the wall- oh wow, is my inventory that full? Goodness gracious. I'm considering going ahead and mine out that last level, but let's say it's not much point. Since we are going to fill this in with dirt from my last slab there, we gotta go get some dirt. We'll clear out our inventory while we're up here too. Put some more torches because of gosh darn zombies. Or not zombies, but mobs in general. And that looks... Oh, that's gonna bite me. Okay, we're just gonna... I don't like things that aren't very symmetrical, so we're gonna dig out this last layer so I can just move the torches one block over. All in the name of symmetry. Alright, is that symmetrical now? Uh, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Nice time to sleep. You know, there might be mobs out there. So I think it's time to go ahead and ditch. Oh, hello, ingots. I think it's time to go ahead and ditch our iron armor for the diamond. First things first, let's put up all this cobblestone I don't need. Now we've cleared out a bunch of cobblestone we already had. So, eight for the chest plate, five for the helmet, seven for the pants, and four for whatchamacallit. Alright. There's the helmet. There's pants, or boots. There we go. And voila. Oh, that's beautiful. There's like, I think it's our third episode, not counting the live stream. And we've already got full diamond armor.
Actually, come on, let's not do that. I'm gonna make an armor stand. I've never done that before, but... What's it called? I honestly have never made one before, so I might have to look it up real quick. Yep, we're gonna Google it. Google knows all. Okay, so I'm gonna need some smooth stone. Which, I don't know why I don't have that as um, being unlocked. Probably because I haven't made um, strip chivalry. We do. We're gonna need, so it's a 9x9 area, so 81. We'll just grab from here again like we did last time. Also, we might make a secondary mine into this mountain here, just because we're going to make a nice flat face overall. Second, look at that stone. I know we have a little bit of dirt in our chest, but I'm not sure how much, so I'm probably going to grab more than I need. What are we up to? 74. Just need seven more. That's 80. A little bit extra for good luck. Okay. I'm gonna make a secondary farm out here, actually. This area would be pretty decent for that, I think. But I don't really want to deviate too much from our plans. Actually, I'm gonna make a room. Uh, what do we got? I wanna make a little bit of a room so that way I can get in and out of here without accidentally laying the cows out. So do I have any planks on me? I do not, but... Let's see if that's enough for me. Iron door is going to end up going there. We're going to need to place a couple extra torches here. This is what I'm kind of going for, something woodland-like. I'm gonna make the floor out of slabs. Well, no, I already said I was gonna make the floor out of dirt, so no point in fixing that up. And here we can do. There we go. I think this looks pretty decent once we get a door there. And actually, we don't need to do an iron door. Only villagers need an iron door because they can open the regular ones. Only unfortunate bit here is that grass isn't going to naturally grow, I don't think. Because grass will spread, but grass won't naturally generate. Well, I'm good. Take okay, a quick pause. I'm gonna Google whether or not I can actually find a way to get grass down here without needing silk touch on anything. Actually, it was YouTube on this one. Get to off my microphone so you guys don't have to listen to 
a stream of a dude watching a video. You may have thought blocks, but there is no grass growing. What I recommend doing is getting grass blocks. Get grass blocks by getting silk torch on master ship, shovel or pickaxe on master ship, store it. Have silk torch on a tree and use it on a grass block. You will actually get grass block, not dirt block. All you have to do is put one grass block somewhere where the dirt is. And eventually, the grass will spread through all the other blocks, and now you all the dirt with very grassy beetles. So, if you're in an area where you don't have access to much grass, simply collect grass blocks from a green area using a silk touch, and put a grass block next to the dirt. Okay, so I kind of played myself. I can't get grass to just naturally grow down here anyway, unless it was connected to a grass block, or I had to touch and brought one down here, which again, is just make it connect. So I'm going to go up, craft myself a nice door and a single button, and then we'll go ahead and switch that over real quick, so we can get that smooth stone, and what was I about to do? Door, yes. Actually, hold on. I probably had doors in here, didn't I? No, I didn't know. Okay. Thought I played myself. And then I'm gonna need a single button. Ooh. Actually, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need two buttons, aren't I? Will I naturally close? Nope. Okay, so I need one more button. I can I think I should be able to make that in my inventory here. Yep. Cool beans. Can I place it up here? Oh that's kinda neat up. Okay. Alright, so now that is functioning. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and tear this door down for a second here. Right. I need this to be open so a cow can get through it. So I think it's good like that. And I'm going to want to make sure. 
beans. I gotta make sure that the cows won't accidentally fall into here while well, I've got them coming down. Alright. And I gotta fall through one block space, so we should be good now. We'll tear this door down so they can get in there. I'm pretty sure they should be able to get through there just fine. So next up, luring the cows. Alright, we've got our wheat. Now let's go find some cows. And I'm going to need to bridge over to the mainland. Let's go ahead and grab some cobblestone. We'll put our iron back up. And pop that over there as well. We'll make this out of... Hmm, do I have enough planks? No, I'm just going to make it out of cobblestone. We'll stick with the trend so far. It's worked. So far, not going to break the trend. I'll leave our doors up there. Reorganize it a little bit. All right, and yeah, we'll just let's go this way. Make life a little easy on us. In the future, I'll probably fancy this up a little bit. Because I don't just want to make everything out of cobblestone, like. Cobblestone first towel, it's hard. It gives kind of a good look, but at the same time, it doesn't look good if everything is cobblestone. I'm gonna want to make this too wide. This might take a minute. But I just want to make sure the cows don't end up just falling off the side too well, much. Uh, we could go three wide. That might make be best, actually. But if I want, I can always put some fencing on the edges. Anyways, I might make it a covered bridge. So it's a homage to my homeland of Vermont. You know, I've been to Vermont. One of the things we're known for is our covered bridges. And we're not super known for that, but a little bit of a tourist attraction. I just realized we're actually going to be blocking off our access to our boat by doing this. So that's another thing we have to fix later on. We'll probably give it a nice arch to it. But for now, we just want our cows to be able to get across. Let's get the wheat out and go searching for cows. I really hope we can just find a spot that has a couple cows. So I'm not having to do this one at a time. That would just be a pain in the butt. I know we have some cows in a fence in the area we made in the first episode over this way. We can actually just start off with them. What is, yeah, what is our, oh, hello, doggo. How are you? That was our first farm we made before I decided I was going to do... I wasn't going to do it like that. Free the cows. Let's go ahead and attract the cows. Alright, and follow me, little guys. I'll say a lot of times if I find a wandering trader, I just end up killing them so I can steal their leads because they rarely ever have any trades I want to do. They're really only useful for their leads to me. So come on. I'm taking you to a better place. Much more secure. You won't have to look at any zombies or any creepers anymore. Hopefully. I really hope not. We have anything start spawning in our farm or in our livestock area, I would be very upset.
I feel like I can just see how that would go down with a creeper. It's gonna be me just plopping down there. Probably looking at the wall, not paying attention to what's going on, and all of a sudden I just hear the fuse going and then my cow's dying. A like, very painful and gruesome death. I should probably be pretty quick. They'd probably be okay with it. They would have no idea what just happened. Yeah, come on. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Come on inside. And we're gonna make this a little easier. And just mine out this small section here. And hop on over here. Hey, come on. Don't you want it? Come on. You're almost there. Can they fit down the hole? I'm gonna be kind of upset if they can't. Wheat, wheat. Come on. Come get the wheat. Guys, it'd be a lot easier if we just went one at a time. Oh, is the ladder stopping them? Oh, don't, I don't think they can get down. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Maybe, maybe you can't? Well, this is hashtag disappointing. What I'm gonna do, I'll just go ahead and close up the door in here. Oh, wait a second. Alright, do we still got these two? Alright, I'm just gonna close the door so they're stuck in here anyways and start bringing them here while I figure out how to get them down. I might just have to mine out an extra access area. Alright. Let's try it now. Don't you want it? I think it probably is a ladder that's messing it up. Alright, he did not fall. Come on, your turn. Your turn, buddy. Yeah, I know you just watched your buddy fall to his death, but... This is some really good wheat. It's really good. It's really good. Nice and tasty. Nice and tasty. Tasty wheats. All right. Well, you know, we got two cows down there, so I'm kind of says a success so far. But I would like to get these ones down there, too. They would just go one at a time. That's all we need. <sighs> Fine. How about now? Now you both can get through here. Almost there. Almost there. Go down the hole. Go down the hole. Your buddy did it. You can do it, too. Alright. Alright, let's go. Let's go. One more. One more. Come on, Mr. Moo Cow. Don't you want it? Don't you want it? So it's like, no, I just watched my friends fall to their death. We'll just push him. Because he's making this hard on himself. And on me. See how the ladder is. What? No. We're down the hole. Alright, follow me this way. Come on. Let's go. Can you really not? Oh my gosh. They're making this so much harder than it has to be. Come on, come on. And success. We have our cows. Just gonna fix this up. And we still got that little dude here. 
Well, I'm, I'm sorry, little one, but I can't have you living up here with my pups. Because you're going to get big someday. And I, don't, I don't really have any use for you up here. Okay. Let's go ahead and break all this out. Come on. That was painful for me to do. I'm sure it's even more painful for you guys to watch. Yeah, I definitely just feel where those mobs are. I hate listening to them. I'm sure you guys do too. Don't worry, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll, I might do that off screen at some point. And whenever I figure out where they are, I'll, I'll take care of them all. Okay. So now we just gotta... Just gotta breed the cows. I was about to say, do I not want to go down there now? Oh. Okay, so this is gonna take a while. Yeah, there are definitely some caves down here. Well, you know, while we're waiting, let's check out our mob farm. We're gonna make two more buttons. So I do kind of enjoy them. There we go. Oh. Guess I probably should have lit this whole area up earlier. Okay. So, this is what I... Is that a zombie villager? How do we spawn a zombie villager? Yeah, that was a zombie villager. Oh, at this point. I just see, since we did slabs here, all their loot will drop through into here. Quite effective. You're not supposed to be here. Do I have any... Oh, I don't have any string. No, no. We're gonna go sleep. We're gonna go sleep. Before he gets close. Is he still out here? Yeah, dude's just kind of chilling. So that, right off the bat, I think I can honestly say this is probably the most successful mob spawner I've had so far. Probably is a built in water. If you go back and watch my first one or two videos, you'll see the mob spawners I've built before. I think it was the first video, yeah. Um, same concept, different materials, but does the same thing. Neither of them work that well, though. Usually, you'll get spawned right off the bat. I think it's just to trick you into thinking that you're doing well. So only thing left to do really is enchanting, but uh, we don't have the leather we need, which is why, of course, we were doing this to begin with. Oh wait, I need to make slabs. I need two more of them. Ah, oh, buns. I'm I'm crippling myself here. Well, while we wait for that, we gotta figure out something to do. So we have all the space where I can build out. And I don't want to just have one giant room here. So I think we're going to need a storage room. Because this chest is almost full. How far over does this go? One, two, three, four. One, two. So I can split off a section of this here, I guess. Or continue further in. Hmm. 
So it goes out a decent ways this way. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so seven blocks in, we're gonna make our storage room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And did I leave the doors in my inventory? I don't know. I know we got two more doors, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Okay, so that wall needs to stay put. Let's see how far back we can go here. Probably could have counted, but... Yeah, he likes counting. Alright, and there's the answer to how far back we can go. Actually, we're going to clear this area out a little bit so I can put a window in. And hopefully not get taken out by a creeper. Yep, there we go. And how wide do we want this room? It doesn't have to be super huge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can fit four double chests along the bottom here. Which honestly will probably be more than enough. Well, I say that now, but later on in life, or the game. I'm going to regret saying that. We'll make kind of a tall window, I guess. So let's go ahead and go grab some sand and get that going. So we're not waiting on it. Shovel is almost dead. This poor shovel. Alright, I think that'll be enough for now. We'll go ahead and make ourselves another furnace real quick. And we'll just put it right there. Let's do a little bit of coal out of here. That should be enough. And we have this now. So we're going to need a little couple more sticks. I think we're short by like one. Ain't that how it always goes. No, we had enough. We definitely had enough. Put it right there. And the question is, how does this work? Probably put the armor on it. Oh. Okay, well, we've got the stand. We'll put it in later. And we'll go ahead and turn this into some panes. That's... Okay, that's not how you do it. I always forget how to make panes. It's like this. Yep, there we go. And our mob spawner is still working out there. Excellent. Alright, there we go. I, I think this is a big enough window here. We can get a nice view out here, get some light in. One, two, three. Yeah, that's the size we're going to make it. 
And we got some extra smooth stone slabs, so I will use those for the roof here, because why the heck not? Make it look a little better from the outside, and oh, uh, we're one short. Cool. Outstanding. Huh. Guess we're going to make one more smooth stone. So we have to keep a close eye on that, so that way I don't waste the coal. Watch him paint dry. Watch him paint dry. Once again, I forgot that we need three of them to make a slab. Oh, big brain. Big brain time. I have a little bit of a hard time waking up this morning, so I'm just- Oh, no, 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 no. Keep burning. You keep burning, mister. I really hate using wood for it, but I just- uh, Oh, I did have extra coal. What a shame. I'm gonna take that out and just get rid of this now. I don't need that there. Now I can actually use my chest. I'll put the buckets up, all the seeds. Extra. Of everything. Don't need the door, I don't need the glass, don't need the ladder to prevent. Alright, here we go. Ah, oh, buns. Can I get up here? There we go. Alright. And I'm pretty sure that mobs can't actually recognize you through glass. I know it works with gas. I really don't like having that group right there. He's... Yeah. He's kind of giving me anxiety here. So we're just gonna see if we can take him out real quick. You know what, that works, that works. We got a square corner. What do we get? Three bones, seven arrows. So this could be pretty useful for getting arrows, because for some reason, we're spawning more skellies than anything at all. And I don't really mind that. We're up to 18 arrows. And now that we can actually access our chest, we'll go. We'll go ahead and put our armor up. There we go. Our first set of armor in the game. Then whenever this diamond armor wears out, we'll put it up as well. We'll go ahead and put a torch there. And, yeah, I think I'm only going to make it this far out. But we're going pretty high, right? Yep. I'll put the torch there. Alright, and let's finish mining this out. I will grab that coal. I, I do see it. Might end up making this four hide just so we can grab that. How far over did we make it? Just two? Oh, that's a 
pretty decent sized pocket. I will not complain about that. I don't want to use the diamond, but we'll use the diamond. Before this wears out, we'll put in a nice picture frame. That's probably how we're going to do a lot of our decorating of this place, is just our first items. Alright, and now we have a storage room. Actually, it's going to be best if I turn this roof. Yeah, we're going to adapt this just a wee bit. Except for this section. This section will stay. Because we're not putting chests there anyways. Or I can, yeah, I can put one there. But the rest of this area, we're going to mine the roof out one more block higher. I guess we can go ahead and... We already started making smooth stone slabs for stuff, so we'll go ahead and use that. Trick for chess is you uh, put slabs as a roof, put them on the top, half the block, that way you can put them all the way up to the ceiling and still be able to open them. We do need to light this area up a bit more, though. Alright. Let's make some smooth stone. Oh my gosh, I saw it and I thought it was a skeleton. I'm not the brightest one in the bag. Let's figure out how much we need. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times four is thirty-two. Thirty-two divided by six is an even eight. Okay, so we're going to need to make eight things of slabs. Eight times three is 24, so we need 24 stacks. Let's see if I did this math right. All right, we'll drop one there. Yeah, that, I think that's right. We'll, we'll figure it out later if I was wrong or not. And that chest will stay there. I always keep one chest by the door. Go ahead and sleep. I really wish stuff kept running while you sleep, like that furnace was running like it just ran through the whole night, so when you wake up, everything's done. But no, it doesn't. I think it's pretty rude. What's... Oh! Target acquired. We're going for it. We are going for it. I said it like this is some super hard thing to do to kill one skeleton with armor, but it... It really isn't. Oh, it's not even a skeleton, it's a zombie. Yeah, this is gonna be way too easy. Hopefully, he drops some. We don't have any enchantments, which means no looting, unfortunately, but. Did he not drop? Oh, that's disappointing. That is really disappointing. It'll buff. This too shall buff. Yeah, you know, we've got some extra glass panes. So, I might as well put in a window. Where do I want to put in? One, two. One, two. So, we're going to dig this whole wall out another one deep. Solely just so that way I can put windows in. Put that torch back up for this though. I just want to make sure I don't lose the lighting by accident because I forget to put the torches back. Oh, look at that. That's the best part about doing cave homes, is you find resources as you're building. I think we had 5 XP when we finished making that mob spawner already up to 11, so that is not too bad. And there's a creeper. So you never want to approach creepers, right? Because they'll blow up. But look at this. He doesn't see me. 
and now he's dead. Too easy, right? Alright, we've been going for almost two hours, so I'm probably going to end the episode somewhat soon. I know the name of this episode may sound like we're going to do enchanting, and that was the goal, but you know, we got everything set up so we will be able to do enchanting. Hopefully next episode, I'll probably just sit on here AFK for a while, mining the XP farm, so that way we can get the levels we need, and I'll be breeding the cows. I'll do that all off-camera. I don't want to do too much off-camera, just because, I mean, I feel like it almost defeats the purpose of doing a live stream, but we'll get this window put in here. And we'll do it like that. Put one cobblestone back in there. So we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six panes. Okay, we got it. Now we got some natural lighting. This one doesn't look out much except for that, but we can see our mine, we can see a little bit of the mountain. Yeah, I think that's nice. We'll put some more windows in along here over time, but we can just go ahead and flatten this all out. They're not going to be as well, so. There we go, I think that looks kinda neat. But we will need to put in plank of ice and torches. Because we did lose a little bit of lighting because we took one out while building it. We can move our bed. Alright. Only downside is now our doors aren't centered. But that is okay. I think this is where I'm going to end the episode, guys. There's not really much else to do until we get the leather that we need and the experience levels. So I'll just do all that AFK so you guys don't have to watch it, because it's just going to be slow and grindy. Hello, Mr. Cow. We'll end on that positive note.